Ukraine military has recaptured an eastern airport held by pro-Russian forces. Russia says Ukraine, close to civil war as Kiev begins offensive. Reportedly directed by the Central Intelligence Agency. That's in Reuters. Ukraine begins offensive. Did you, did you hear that? Into the areas that have voted 90 plus percent to be part of Russia and have historically been part of Russia. And I've told you that's where the clash comes with uh, areas on their own seceding over to Russia, and then will Russia defend those that are voting to leave? And generally the way this would go is Russia would end up taking part of the country all the way to the river, the entire east, all the way to Kiev, and then stopping, similar to the Germany being split into east and west. But in this case, uh, the globalists are even worse than Russia. Clearly the Russians, I would say, were the bad guys in the Cold War, but the globalists use them as the bad guys to make us the bad guys and build a police state here as well uh, in the name of countering their police state. This is just a huge, huge development. Two wounded in skirmishes in eastern Ukraine. Gunfire at eastern Ukraine airport as troops move in, retaking it from pro-Russia forces. Ukraine uh, falters in drive to curb unrest in the east. Fragile Europe weakens U.S. push for Russia sanctions mainly because Germany's not going along with all of it. Russian jets uh, passes near U.S. ship in Black Sea. Provocative, the Pentagon says. Yeah, it is. What the West is doing is provocative. Uh, Russia tests multi-warhead uh, ICBM or a MIRV ICBM. Very provocative. This is the type of news. But don't worry. Obama has had a phone conversation. Uh, Obama has had a phone conversation with Putin, so... Uh, he's on it. Everything's fine. And again, the issue is Ukraine voted four months ago, or three months ago, not to join the EU. And the George Soros NATO globalist uh, activated, the NGOs activated, and they'd spent $5 billion there the last few years. That's not debated. And they overthrew the country. But there's going to be Russians that don't want to be basically culturally cleansed in the East by the predominantly more, you could say, historically more German-affiliated Ukrainians. In fact, a bunch of them really are just Germans. Uh, and, of course, Hitler went in there and took over to, quote, get the you know, Germanic or Aryan uh, Ukrainians. I mean, this just goes over and over. The Nazis have done war crimes there. The Russians have done huge war crimes there. Some of the greatest crimes ever have been committed against the Ukrainian people. I get why a lot of Ukrainians are anti-Russian. But it doesn't matter. Russia's been part of Ukraine off and on forever. And so it's, it's just, it's like black versus white. And these people basically, you know, share a lot of culture, pretty much look the same. But they're divided by a river. They're divided by Catholic and Orthodox. And it's just the same story over and over again. Kill, kill, kill. Let's be divided and conquered by the globalists who are going to come in and enslave everybody. The new threat is the synthetic anti-human, dehumanization, technocratic new world order. It's the big enchilada. It's the big end of days system if it wins. It's the end of humans as we know it, the rise of the robots, and humans better get that through their heads and decide whether we want to align ourselves along ideas of freedom, liberty, private property, shared uh, wish for humans uh, to uplift ourselves, or whether we're going to continue to be divided and conquered along all these ethnic, religious, racial lines, which can be real differences at the end of the day, but, but the issue is the globalists are synthetically manipulating those differences and playing them off against each other instead of using those differences to truly enrich the global culture. Well, that's it for this edition of the InfoWars Nightly News, but stay tuned because right after this, Dr. Group is going to be here giving you a special extended edition of the InfoWars Nightly News, giving you tips to clean out your respiratory system. So I'm Jakari Jackson for the InfoWars Nightly News, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. Tune in to PrisonPlanet.tv for an extended broadcast.